In Cyber Slam, five students discover why the internet is referred to as the web as they weave their own lives into an irrevocable entanglement. So, Captain Jack, is your name from Pirates of the Caribbean? I love that movie. Me too. My folks took me there once. We went deep sea fishing. Amazing. You like to fish. I like to eat fish. Maybe we're soulmates, Jack. That's Captain Jack, Our exclamation point. <laughs> LOL. So, what do you look like, Captain? Eye patch, gold tooth, the usual. Private chat room, question mark? Seemingly innocent relationships are begun each day. Hi, Sarah. Mascara. Hi, who is this? Josh D. Josh D. Is that your real name? Yes, Josh Denton. What's your age, sex, location? And existing relationships are tested. Hey, Danny boy. Hey, what's that new song on your MySpace page? It's weird. The name's Daniel, Matt. Not Danny. You know that. Well, someone's in a crappy mood. So, Daniel, what's the band? I never heard them before. Taliban Speed Bump. They're new. Oh. Well, they sound like a cat stuck in a wood chipper. Jeez. It's just alternative. It's better than that candy-coated crap you listen to. Oh, yeah? What about that get-up? Is that alternative, too? Dude, what's your problem? Looks like you're going goth or something. As if the teen years weren't already complicated, the dawn of cyber conversation can make matters even worse. I'm Amber. Hi. And uh, this is Sarah. Hi. Hi, I'm Josh Denton. Wait, you're Josh D? Yeah, that's my screen name. How'd you oh, know? Oh, I'm Sarah. Sarah Muscara. Well, Metzger, but yeah. <laughs> That's well, crazy. You two, like, know each other? Yeah, we just met online last night. Online journaling, or blogging, allows the writer to get revenge without confrontation. Thursday, September 5th, 2007. Current mood, aggravated. Check out the music on Matt Brooks's MySpace and then vote on the following choices. Matt's music is lamer than, one, the Backstreet Boys, two, Hilary Duff, or three, Britney Spears. <laughs> Take that, Matty boy. The banter is just beginning. Ah, oh, crap, I knew it, that little weasel. What? Daniel Masters, he trashed my music on his MySpace. Look at this. 70% uh, think your music is lamer than Britney Spears. Yeah, and he sent out a bulletin to all my friends to vote, and now they're all laughing about it. Wait a second, how did he see it in the first place? Was he on your friends list? Oh, not anymore. I mean, I added him last year when he seemed normal, but now he's gone all Columbine or something. You see the way he dresses? Yeah, it's pretty weird, but look, I need you to help me out with something. What? I need you to figure out if Sarah likes anybody. Who? Joshua Denton. The new guy on the soccer team, Mr. Golden Boy? What do you see in that guy? You wouldn't understand. I hate when girls say that. Look, she says they're just friends, but I think she's lying. Well, what do you want me to do? Tell her Josh wants to know if she likes anybody. Oh, sneaky. I like it. Let's go online. Searching for Sarah Mascara. Matt's strategy to get even sets off a series of unfortunate events. And his computer savvy affords Amber the opportunity to find out Sarah's secrets. Wednesday, September 12th, 2007. Current mood, aggravated. I can't believe Matt. I mean, one little joke about his music and he goes all postal on me. And then I get this message that says, you are about to be slammed by the Scottsville League of Avenging Masters? I mean, I know it's Matt, but what can I do? Daniel is beginning to realize that he may have overreacted and the girl's relationship is now strained. Oh, hey Amber, I gotta talk to you. Oh, sure, what's going on? Somebody said this to Josh. From SLAM, the Scottsville League of Avenging Masters. Josh, your girlfriend, is Scottsville's biggest skank. She's cheating on you right now? Whoa. Did you send this? Uh, of course not. Well, Josh has said there was a picture, too, with my face on it. Well, what kind of picture? Some kind of a porn thing. Oh my gosh, that's awful. Well, why would they send it to Josh? Oh, I don't know. Maybe they just thought... Are you guys together? Well, not exactly. Oh, what do you mean, not exactly? As well as being used as a communication tool, 
The computer can be used to create images that damage reputations. So what's this big secret, Matt? Yeah, you made it sound like somebody died or something. <laughs> well, there's something that you guys should see. What's that? Check out this website. What? Wait, is that a, a picture of me? Yeah, but with some major changes. There's just a bunch of insults and filth and it's hateful. Daniel begins to feel the extent of the damage caused by his choices. Now I've been getting texts. 10, 20, then 100 a day from all different phone numbers with all sorts of threatening messages on them. That cyberbully website said that I should make a record of everything, so I got this program that automatically records instant messages. Is there any end to the web being woven? Can anyone put aside their feelings to bring a stop to the hurtful and humiliating games being played? Is everything okay? No, not really. What's the problem? Well, I, I just think this whole thing is getting out of control. You know, more and more people are going to that website that we set up and they're posting some really horrible things. Do you want to get together and talk about it? I can be at your house in 15 minutes. Amber's need to tell somebody how Sarah hurt her is music to a predator's ears. <laughs> you guys enjoying yourselves? As a matter of fact, we are. Oh, good. I'm glad to hear it. So what's it going to be, D Mastermind? You going to take down that website about Sarah? Or do you want to see yourself on YouTube in a towel? I don't know. Why don't you ask Matt over there? This is between you and me. Actually, it's not. It's between Matt and me. And you just got in the middle. What are you talking about? I never made any website about Sarah. Matt and Amber did. Amber and Matt? Don't believe him, he's lying. They go online and they pretend to be me. Uh, that won't work, Danny boys. You sent Josh messages. He saw your screen name. Well, did you print the messages out? Why, you know what it says. <laughs> yeah. Check out the I in Mastermind. It's not an I, it's a one. I didn't send this. He probably changed it himself. This doesn't prove anything. No, but this does. It's a printout of an IM conversation I had with Matt the day before yesterday. Well, he's faking it. Where would he even get something like that? It's a program called Spectre Pro, and it saves everything. As Matt is caught in his own game, the audience learns that anything posted on personal profile sites, blogs, and chat rooms is available for anyone to read, including colleges, employers, and law enforcement. A revelation of the danger posed by what was thought to be anonymous is audible at each performance. During the question and answer session that follows each performance, actors assure students of the validity of the statistics brought to light in CyberSlam. Actors can provide personal testimony to strangers viewing their information, as well as educate the students on how to avoid a similar situation.